Can a man, in his feeble wisdom, run faster than his chin? Can an ocean, in his strength, drown he whose feet it has not seen? <laughs> To he whom much is given, much is expected of him. Gods of our ancestors, I come before you with renewed vigor to continue in your service. Renew your powers in me. Give me more visions upon visions to see those things which wish to set free the souls of the sons of men. I work on Moji or Jude. Yeah? When I soon become tired, no way. Can you want to be? I work on you know. If I Idejimba, Ozobialo, the mortal eyes that sees in darkness. I greet you. Okay, Chiupu. Our own portion from the gods. The child that came when barrenness was a plague. You are welcome. I have missed your presence. Then I said to myself, I must come today and see you. You have done very well. You have done real good. For a man that goes far away in search of that which which to fit his stomach must not forget home where the journey started. Never be it far from me that I should forget my roots. You're welcome. Thank you. I don't know who will say I go to see. Okay, man. Um, okay, you I work in a module, so here with the surgeon. Hello, Jimba. Hmm? I actually came to inform you that um, I found the woman that I want to make my wife. Hmm. <laughs> That's the good news. Because he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the gods. You're right. You're right, Osobel. So. Where is this woman from? She's from Enwani. Mm. Enwani. Uh, Mr. Badero, um, you will have to drop her name with me. And if possible, her picture. So that I will consult the gods and ascertain if she is really what you need in your life. Mm. That will not be a problem. Her name is um, Aluchi Owadweku. Mm. And I will make sure to drop her pictures before I leave. 
No problem. So, how is business? Oh, business has been awesome. My business has been blossoming from strength to strength. I mean, in the last six months, I've made more money than I made in the last few years. I'm not surprised. Oh, yes. And this is just the beginning. I mean, this is just the tip of the iceberg. As long as you heed to the words of your chin, you will prosper and prosper and prosper. You see, you see. Thank you so much. Good at you, sir. Good at you, sir. You came at the right time. Because I consulted the gods on your behalf today for the opt-in's time. And their words remained the same. I hope the words of the gods hold good tidings for me. The words of the gods hold nothing but uncertainty and a bleak future for you. This message from the gods, does it have anything to do with the woman I seek to make my wife? The gods do not support that union. Not in this life or in the next. Your path must never cross. Why are the girls against the woman I want to marry? The one I love. Do you not seek your own counsel against that of the gods? Are you doubting the sacred utterances of your chief? Okay. Sabiano. What an elder sees sitting beneath. A child can never see it. Even when he stands on the tip of his toes. Hi, pretty one. Hello. Come on, the, the sun is so harsh for a very pretty lady like you, you know, walking under the sun. I can be your driver today, you know. Hey, stranger. Whatsoever it is you're selling, I am not buying. Uh, okay, I, 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 I am sorry, okay? I'm sorry if I'm being too pushy, but Come on, this weather is too hot for you. Hey, I, I, I apologize, I'm sorry. I just want to be a, 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 of help to you, okay? Hello? Get lost! But I mean no harm. Hello?
Oke, okay, good evening. Are you happy with yourself? No, tell me. Are you happy with yourself? What do you mean exactly? So you decided not to make any food in this house today? Okay. Yeah. I had an urgent rehearsal at the studio, so that's why I couldn't do anything. Urgent good. Rehearsal at the studio. More important than making food in this house. The same house where you live in. Okay, please. I do not have strength for this your drama today. I don't have it. Ah, ah. I am not your wife. You can as well go to the kitchen and cook what you want to eat. My friend, keep, keep, keep your mouth shut. What do you mean I should go to the kitchen and cook, 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 cook what I want to eat? I will go into the kitchen and make food and you eat. Okay? I don't blame you. Okay, I do not blame you at all. I blame whoever told African men that kitchen belongs to the women alone. I don't blame you. My friend, go inside and prepare something fast. I'm very hungry. But I'm soccer. Hey, good day, bro. Good day. What are you looking for? Um, sorry, I don't know the name, but she's um. What are you doing here? Um, sorry, but... Are you stalking me? Wait, you don't even know who he is. I'm sorry for bumping to you. Save your explanation. God, Nelson. Nelson, you didn't do it right. Yes, you can't be stalking someone. Mm-hmm. But she's very beautiful and she's what I want in a woman, you know? What? I was like, hello pretty one, can I be of help? But she was, was she rude? <sighs> oh, hello mom. Good afternoon, ma. Hey, I'm fine. I, I understand it. No, don't, you don't don't worry. By weekend you you'll hear from me, okay? <laughs> yes, I'm very well, ma. I'm very well, ma. I'm fine. Alright. Alright, ma. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Alright. Alright, bye. Bye. Hey, yeah, I'm driving. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. You must really think I'm daft or something. What are you talking about? Okay, I told you already that I do not know who that guy is. I don't know him. <laughs> My God. <laughs> And you expect me to believe that? A man traced you and followed you to your house. What are you saying? Were you not there when I asked him if he was talking to me? If I knew that guy, would I talk to him like that? <laughs> See, I don't have an issue if he's your man though. After all, you need one in your life. He is not my man. See, if you... It's not a problem if he's your man. I just want to know the man my sister is running with. That's all. Thank you very much for your concern. But that man you saw out there is not my man. I don't even know him. Mm -hmm. Okay. You don't even cook it with. Oji kan jikwa wa ebia o. I saw the one came my head, the one in my. Yeah? I found The gods of our land. Who did you work at your mother? Do why on the sale be fair? They believe you will see a copy of them. Or the cause of the winner on a mill is at about my house. I whoop your bar. I'm not happy. That's not a lunch in the morning. 
as no adla yo mmo ife ye ri ai ka na asina be kwa na nka ye ri ko bia odu oke mmo adle nwa nyu mmo on e tula ye forma e forma ge ru ya ka e tokwa ye for jo gine for jo agbare ba eh o mo nwa nya ida no be di kanta no di nda no be nwa nwa ta nwa ha ya no e ke ke tala ye forma ori e tala ye forma afo afo tala ye forma nko ga kwa tala ye forma e for forma e forma ga ya de kuma ka eh I want to assume black on the edge. Then so light the edge. On the no boy, the no be. I walk on the edge. Ha! Edge I walk on the no. Aye, I know. Eh? My ancestors, Ngwa. You don't know who. Okay. Chill up. Chill up. Million Mrs. Ziban of Pure Bogle. Nicky thought a lot one of my no. Would a dog? Eat a bone tied round its neck. Bam. Bam. That's not possible. Gods of our ancestors. What does this portend? When the clouds gather, it pours with its mightiest strength upon the face of the earth. But the clouds are not gathering. The sky is as clear as crystal. Where is this aroma of darkness coming from? Pretty. What's it with you, stranger? Why are you stalking me? I am sorry, Boo, but you're too beautiful and sexy for me to ignore. Boo! You know, you're too creepy. And I need to avoid you forever. Come on, I am sorry for being creepy, okay? I am harmless. Yes, I am. Stranger. I told you before that whatsoever it is you're selling, I am not buying. But at least Stop it! But can you at least listen Excuse to me? What's up, Nigi? I'm fine. Sorry for intruding your space, huh? What do you want? Can we talk? Can I come in?
There you go. Oh, thank you very much. Welcome. So, I'm from River State. Okay. Trust me, I mean no harm. Currently, I'm on IT with the telecom company here. Okay. From the depth of my heart, I love your sister. <laughs> Isn't it odd to you that um, you are in love with somebody you don't even know her name? Right. I know it's crazy, but the word itself is crazy. Um, the thing is, Eve is my only sibling. And I am very particular about uh, the kind of folks she rolls around with. That is just it. <sighs> I understand. And trust me, I'm happy you're being protective of her. I do the same for my younger sister. Well, that's just the thing. I, I don't have any other person. She's all I've got. Like I said, I mean no harm. Okay? It's fine. <laughs> Thank you. Eve? All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that stranger was here today. And you let him into our house? Come on. He's not harmful. He's a nice guy. An annoying stalker, you mean? Eve. That guy is really a nice guy. And from the look of things, I think he really likes you. Okay, please. I'd love to concentrate on these books. Please. Mm -mm. Not this time around. In fact, close that book. Eve, loosen up. You need friends. Your life is boring at the moment. You've been stuck up since the tragic death of our parents. Loosen up. I don't even know this guy. Then give him listening ears. Get to know him. It takes a day to know someone. Hmm? Get to know him. The guy fires, sir. You go like him. Yes, it's fine. <laughs> Don't be mad at me. I, I mean no harm, okay? What exactly do you want from me? Can, can we go somewhere calm and have this discussion? I was going somewhere. I can't go back inside. I, I see you can. After you. Um, we got off on the wrong side. Well, my name is Kesta Odili. 
from River State, precisely. You know, I am here on my one year IT working on the telecom company. I see. My name is Evelyn, Eve for short. Okay. I'm from here. And there is nothing sweet to talk about myself. I refuse to take that, okay? I believe there's something sweet in everyone. All my life, all I have known has been pain and nothing more. I may not claim to understand what life may have thrown up to, okay? But just know that someone here cares about you. For real. Like, really? Like, really. Thank you for today. I had a great time with you. Same here. You're such a great company. Mm, thank you. Um, I hope I won't be treated like a stranger anymore. I just spent a full day with you, so I cannot call you a stranger anymore. This is so comforting to hear. <laughs> um, can I at least have your number now? Sure. All right. Okay. 080 Alright, I'll call you sometime. Alright. Hey. You're so pretty. Thank you. Actually, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever that kept you in this mood must really be strong. <laughs> Are you saying that I do not have rights to smile or be happy again? Hell oh, no, that's not what I'm saying. I mean, don't even try to deflect. But I know that smile. The last time I saw it was when mom and dad were still alive. Okay, Chico, please. Don't go back there again. Please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for trying to dampen your mood. But, out with it. Who is it? Who is what? Okay, let me guess. It's Kester, right? I don't know what you're asking. <laughs> well, that's not a problem. I knew it. Anyways, I think he's really a nice guy, so... Okay, Chuku, please leave me alone. To smile in peace, Stop bar. it. <laughs> I'll leave you to your smile. <laughs>
Hi, babe. I am so sorry. I have to leave town urgently this afternoon. My mom is not feeling fine and I need to go take care of her. I will call you as soon as I get to PH. I love you. I am going to miss you. So much. When a child, it's that which kept him awake all through the night. Sleep would take him on a journey beyond the ordinary. Shall the belly remain hungry because the food will purge it? No. These things I see are not ordinary. They are deep things only the gods can decipher. Test. This number has been switched off for two weeks now. This is very confusing. But have you tried to reach him out um, through Facebook or any social media? Kesta does not have a social media handle. He does not have any account. Oh. What could be wrong with his phone? I cannot stand this, this, this suspense. I just want to hear his voice and be sure he's fine. What is it? <coughs> Evelyn. Hmm? <laughs> Evelyn, what is wrong with you? I don't know. I think I have to see a doctor. not just good at all. How can I be pregnant? The man that is responsible is nowhere to be found. It's 
super. Or figure something out. Oh my god! Oh my god! Are, are you okay? Kesta! You're hot! Kesta! Kesta! I am not Kesta! I am Nelson! Who is Kesta? See, I accidentally knocked you down, eh? Let me take you to the hospital, okay? Please. So, okay? Come on. Oh. 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 Sorry. Come on. Sorry. Sorry. Come on. Sorry. she be just to collect something from her brother and she's yet to be back this is no longer funny it's been six hours six whole hours her phone is not even connecting I'm sorry for running you down. It's okay. It's not your fault. It's mine. I didn't look at the road well before crossing. I understand, but I'm supposed to be very careful while driving. Um, let me walk you in and talk to your people. No, no, don't worry. I don't want my husband to see you. You're married? Goodbye. Uh <sighs> wow. She's married. Mm.
my love. Yes. What, what, what happened? Um, I had a minor accident. This is not minor. A car knocked me down on the road. <coughs> is the driver a moron? Was he drunk? My love, stop. It was my fault. I didn't look at the road before crossing. Look at your face. I am so sorry. It's okay. I called you several and your line was not connecting. My phone. I can't find it. I guess I misplaced it at the scene of the accident. I only got to know when I was in the hospital that I was not with it. Huh. That driver should be taught a bitter lesson. Mm. He was the one that took me to the hospital. He's not a bad person. Look at your face now. Look at your face. Sorry, let's go. I don't understand what happened to me. The moment you knocked me down. It was as if I was in a trance. You know, it was just, just that brief moment. You were my brother and the guy who knocked me down, my boyfriend. I still don't understand. This whole thing sounds like a fairy tale to me. Exactly! Because the moment I became conscious, I called him Kester. And he was like, my name is not Kester, but Nelson. <laughs> Kester. Nelson. Kester was his name in that trance, but his real name is Nelson. Well, I just thank God you're okay. Hey, Nelson. Don't be too hard on yourself. You did a good thing by taking her to the hospital and then home. And she's a very pretty woman. But she's married. Well, I will still check up on her tomorrow. Wait a minute. I must be crazy. I didn't even get her name or her number. for I'm here to see her I don't even know her name it's quite embarrassing right <clears throat> okay well I'm here to see the lady that had an accident yesterday who are you and why do you want to see her I am the one that knocked her down wait so you are the monster that almost killed my wife and you still have the guts to show up here I am sorry Okay, it was never intentional for me to knock her down. It was an accident. Besides, she, she, she was not looking at the road while crossing. Oga, okay, as a driver, you were at fault and you were careless. Admit that. Like I said, I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm here to see how she's faring and make sure she's doing well. Mm. Can I, can I, can I see her? She's fine and does not want to see you. But I can just. Bro! I only wanted to know how she's doing, man. What's that? What's at the gates? Can you imagine? That moron had the audacity to show his face here. 
Who is the Maron? Who's that? The tout that almost killed you yesterday. Hey! And you didn't let him in? Oh, I wanted to see him. What is it? Why are you looking at me like that? I wanted to be sure you were the one speaking. Why do you want to see that man? <laughs> Mr. Okechuku Rafaeli Green. What's going on in that 30 mind of yours? I wanted to see him to ask him if he saw my phone. Really? Yes. What were you thinking? Stop it! Oh. What is really going on? Why are you refusing me? I am not in the mood. That seems to be your mantra these days. Why are you refusing me sex? I don't know what you're talking about. And you expect me to take that? You expect me to take you are not in the mood as an excuse all the time? Okay, Chuko. I am not in the mood. And I don't know why you want to make this an issue. No. Not, not this time. I want to let this slide. We really need to talk about this now. Okay, Chiku. I am not in the mood. And I don't know why you want to make this an issue. I don't know. Eve, is there another man somewhere? Do you know what? I will not dignify this insult with a response. I will not. You walked out on me last night. Because you were trying to make the room toxic for me. Having sex is a legal, legitimate duty. We owe each other. Is that what you call toxic? Okay, Chico. Please, allow me to eat in peace. Please. What exactly is the mother? Tell me. Why are you refusing me sex? You should learn to respect my feelings. If I say I am not in the mood, then I am not in the mood. Okay, fine. I understand. Are you in the mood now? I can as well go into the bedroom and have sex. Why is it all about sex for you? Why? I need to take a break from sex, so leave me alone. <laughs> Evelyn, if you do not understand the importance of sex in a marriage, I will be happy to lecture you. I need to have sex with my wife. What part of it don't you get? Why are you frustrating me? I will not let you spoil this breakfast for me. I won't let you. Let me call you back. Hey! 
Thank God I saw you here. Hmm. The man that almost killed me. <laughs> mm -hmm. I am still very, very sorry for that day. No, it's okay. I'm just joking. It wasn't your fault. I see. So, how have you been? I'm fine. Fully recovered, as you can see. Mm, good to hear that. Um, I've been worried since then, and I came to your house the following day. But, you know, your husband was a bit on the edge, you know. Mm. Please, forgive this outburst. He was trying to protect me. Yeah, I understand that. I'm not looking bad anyway. Thank you. I... I have to get there. She has no love for me anymore. We used to be a pair. But now... I can't even say what we are. Is this because I lost everything few weeks after our wedding? But I still strive to make ends meet. I know I would bounce back again. I don't want to lose her love. Not now. Can I have your number? I could call you later, okay? Uh, I don't have a phone at the moment. Yes, I misplaced it on that day of the accident. I guess it fell off my hands when the car hit me. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Okay. It's okay. But can you let me buy you a new phone? No, don't bother. I'll be fine. I understand, but I insist and please don't say no. I will buy you a new phone. I will not accept the phone from you. I'll be okay, don't bother. Like, I insist. And I said no. Thank you. Hi, baby. How are you? I got a new phone. <laughs> I thought we agreed to pull money by the end of the month and get you a new phone. My love. Do you know the creator has a way of turning our pains into joy? I ran into that guy that knocked me down the other day and he bought me this phone just to say sorry. He bought the phone and you accepted it. Yes. Is there anything wrong with that? Everything is wrong with that. Evelyn, everything is wrong with that. Why would you even meet him in the first place, let alone collecting a gift from him? Why? I can see you're not in a good mood. And I would not want to be dragged down that lane. When the clouds gather, the earth gets wet. The eyes of the one who despised the words of the gods is filled with tears. When a man beats a child with the right hand, he consoles with the other hand. Okay, Chukwu. It is mere stupidity and foolishness for a mere mortal to use his feeble wisdom in dealing with the gods. My brother Zobel, I am finished. Everything is gone. My three warehouses lost in fire outbreak. All my trucks were involved in ghastly accidents. If, even the bank has taken my house because I was not able to repay the loan I took for new investments. Okay, Chukwu. You were the one who fetched the ant infested firewood. 
I married the one I love. I followed my heart where it led me. And you're here, tears in your eyes, and head bowed down in shame. Is that where your heart led you? I have not offended the gods in any way. I have been faithful. I have not defaulted in my sacrifices and homages to them. Why? Why all this? No man, even in his mightiest strength, can run faster than his gym. The gods never approved of that union. In this life, and even in the next, your path must never cross. This we are the exact words of the gods. Yet you despised it. What have I gotten myself into? Was Azobialo right about the gods? No. I love my wife. And she's not my problem. Never. Sadness seems to have taken over my roof. I do not even know which hurts the most. The fact that I can no longer see love in my home or the fact that my wife prefers a stranger over me. Can you imagine that? Okay, my friend. I don't seem to understand why you're lamenting about this. Charles, what are you saying? What are you saying? Okay, for crying out loud, you are my friend. Do you think the gods are unwise? What Ozobialo told you seems to be happening. This is just not why I invited you over. It's not why I asked you to come. I needed somebody to listen to me. Somebody that would get to understand exactly how I feel. And to be honest, not this. But you are my friend. I need to be honest with you. You need to check this well. Two of you are not meant for each other. <laughs> It is obvious you are not who I need at the moment. You are just not. Happening. This is frustrating. She's not picking up my calls.
Why are you ignoring the call? Who is the caller? It's nobody. Really? You're ignoring your new lover, right? Okay, Chiku. You are mad. In fact, you are crazy. How dare you speak to me like that? Have mm. you lost your respect? Mm. My words pierce your, your fragile ego, right? Right? You will not talk to me like that in my own house. I will not have you insult me in my oh, own house. Oh, but you can insult me. You can insult me, okay? Okay, Chiku. You really did mad. What? You did color? What? I don't have <laughs> anyone you're talking to like that. You mad. You hit me? Yes. Okay, you hit me. I will hit you again and again. You are mad. You are sick. You are mad. Stupid whore. Stupid whore. I don't understand what happened. You're not picking on my code. Take me out of this place now. Take me out. I am totally exhausted. I've been trapped in this thing called marriage. Something I'm supposed to be enjoying. I, I feel like I've made the worst mistake of my life. You know, I work so hard every day. I try to keep up, make things good for the family. And all he cares about is sex. I am tired. Oh, honestly, I... This is a whole lot to chew. I am so sorry for everything you've been through. I may not fully understand what you've been through, but all I want you to know that I am here for you and don't let it break you down, please. I beg you. Um, don't worry, I am fine. I am sorry I dumped all this on you. It's my cross. It's all right. I, I'm not complaining, okay? Just don't stop telling me whatsoever it is. Just let me know. I am here for you and I will help you in any way I can. Okay? Please. What is wrong with this network? Ah, I want to speak to her now. Evelyn. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have raised my hand on you. I'm sincerely sorry.
What do you want from my wife? What are you doing with my wife? What are you doing with my wife and you? Haven't I told you to stay away from leave my wife? Leave him alone. He's not doing anything to you. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. And, and you, you shameless prostitute. You have no shame. You are a married woman for crying out loud. Look at what you're doing. Because he has a car, right? So this is the idiot you've been sleeping with. No, answer me. This is the fool you've been gallivanting with. Okay, are you gradually turning to something or not? What's your problem? How dare you call me Matai? Come on. Hey, Mr. Man, go and look for money. Come, come on. punish you. Go and punish you. Don't you go. Yes. Go, come, go, come on, go, 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 punish you. Go and punish you. Idiot. And you. And you. You have no shame. So this is what you do. This is ah. what. You want to hit me. Okay, you Hit me. Hit me. That's all you know how to do. Hit me. Hit me, Akachiku. Shameless man. You want to hit me? Okay, I don't understand you. This is supposed to be good news. Something we've been longing for. You are going to be a father. Eve, I am going to ask you this question just once. Who is the father of the babe in your womb? Like I'm totally confused here. Bro, I think you should be happy that one year after your wedding, look at your wife. She's finally pregnant. If the baby is mine, I would be happy. But that thing growing in her womb isn't mine. And she knows it. Goodness gracious. Okay? Can you even hear yourself speak? Now listen to yourself talk. Right now you sound like a visitor, like a stranger. I don't even understand this to you. I don't. Enough of the shenanigans. The baby growing in your womb isn't mine. What part of it don't you get? Okay, can I ask you a question? Sissy me, when was the last time we had sex? No, answer me before your brother. When was the last time? Are you, are you going to ask me that? What the hell is going on here? <sighs> Evelyn, listen, even if you should lie to everyone else, I think you shouldn't lie to me. Dozie, please, not you. Please, you should not be asking me that kind of question. Evelyn, I have to ask you. Like, I'm confused here. Okay, Chiku. He's the father of the child I'm carrying. But, but he's denying it. He's vehemently denying that. What the hell is going on here? Even my brother does not believe me. Hmm. What a world. But it's fine. 
Evelyn, Evelyn. Uh, not that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm just confused. I really want to understand what's going on. For the opt-in time, I am not the father of the baby in her womb. Bro, bro, how can you be this sure? This is your wife for crying out loud. The one I cannot explain what she has been up to in the last few months. What are you saying? Your sister knows the truth. Ask her. Maybe, just maybe, she will open up to you. Let me make this categorically clear. I am not responsible for her pregnancy. Okay. Do you mean Evelyn, my sister, has been unfaithful to you? This is rather complicating and confusing. But I have to let wisdom reign here. I'm not going to side either of you. But for now, our advice will let the sleeping dogs lie. I will bring money for a DNA test. Yes. Of course, that, that alone will help us ascertain who is right and who is wrong here. Though the DNA test is not going to be possible till the fourth month, but that's not fine anymore. Yes. So do we all agree to wait? Hello. If I go for this DNA test, it will be trouble for me. Oh. Everything will everything will be trouble. Okay. could be responsible for her pregnancy because I am not could it be that moron who knocked her down the other time it must be him Eve obviously has been sleeping with him this is a serious insult on my person and a slap on my face and I will not take it But we only had sex just two months. Without protection, you mean? Oh my god. Listen, this baby is yours. And my husband knows. He knows the baby is not his and he's raising dust about it. But how sure is he? Why is he so certain about everything? I don't know. I don't know. This isn't right, like, I'm confused here. Hmm.
good evening. How come? Oh. How is he? How is who? Your baby daddy, of course. Shameless thing. What's happening? Nobody's talking to me. What's wrong with you guys? We need to get this DNA thing done with. I am not going for any DNA test. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so you have accepted that this baby is yours? Never. That thing growing in your womb is not mine. I will never accept it. Then you need to prove it. Bro, you need to prove it by accepting the DNA procedure. He cannot. He cannot do that because he's scared his secret will be out. He will not do it. What secret? I need to own up. I need to accept this pregnancy. That's my baby coming for goodness sakes. I like Eve. She is pretty and what I want. And she is even in an unhappy union. But how do I go about it? If you say you don't have secrets, then let's go for the TNA test. I am not going to do that. Hmm. Come on, okay. Let's end this charade. Your wife is pregnant for you. Okay, it's time you took good care of your wife. What, what part of it don't you get? That baby is not mine. I am not going for that DNA test because I will not go for that DNA test because I am important. I am not interested in this. See, my brother, food in the belly, a man thinks and reasons well. This man has neither the leisure for food nor to think well. I am deeply troubled. What is the problem? My childless situation troubles me. It's been over one year we got married, yet there is no sign that a child is forthcoming. <laughs> okay, Chiu. You are my brother. Formed in the same loins. Though the womb that brought us forth may differ, but the same blood runs in our veins. 
as long as you continue to stay in that union, it will remain fruitless and very painful for you. I do not expect that you bring up this matter. Eve is not responsible for my woes in life. I ask you again. Do you now seek your own counsel against the gods? Are you doubting the sacred utterances of your chi? Osobialo, you know me very well. I can never challenge the gods. But this... You are the one holding yourself from moving forward, okay, Chukwu? You're holding yourself until you sever all ties between you and that woman. Your path will ever remain covered with thick darkness. So you've known this, and you never said anything to anyone. The heart of men are indeed like a deep ocean with secrets. Who can search it all? Who is the father of the child in your womb? So it's true. Mm. So okay, I've been right all this while. Evelyn, you've been cheating on okay, your husband. And here comes the father of our child. Oh. Bro, sincerely I am very sorry for everything. If your wife here has been unhappy in this marriage and she needs her freedom. Yeah, she needs her freedom. Honestly, admit it. You guys aren't compatible. Who the hell are you? Leave me, please. <clears throat> like I said earlier, I'm sure everything turned out this way, but it is what it is. <laughs> Dad. I am done with this spirit called marriage. I am done with effort. I am done with your sister. And you, you can go to the father of your child. As for me, I'll begin the process of dissolving this marriage or whatever it has been. Eve. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm. 
my man. There is no need crying over spilt milk. I am happy it even happened this way before it gets late. Charles, I do not need you to blame me at this point. Who said I am blaming you? I am not blaming you in any way. I am even happy it happened this way before it gets too late. You know, I still cannot believe this is happening. The gods are wise and their words are not to be taken for granted in any way. Now I know better. Now I know. What is the ultimate gain of the sons of men? When they despise the words of their chief, but at the end, all struggles amount to nothing but efforts in futility. I feel like a fool, brother. You are a fool. A big fool. I do not ever want to see her again. I am deeply hurt. I feel offended. You brought this up on yourself. Thanks to the God that you are walking out of it alive. I want to start the process of legally dissolving that marriage. Can you imagine? She's already moving in with the man who got her pregnant. What do you expect? I'm asking you. You have to do what the law of the state stipulates. But first, traditionally, you have to break that marriage. And proper cleansing carried out on you. That is the only way you will be truly free. I am ready to do whatever it takes. I am ready. Chief. I want to maintain her. It will be seen. It is real. Break it. Whatever bounds both of you has been broken. In the eyes of the gods, before our ancestors, this union is no more. Throw it on the ground. Thank you so much, Azobian. <clears throat> I want to use this medium and let Eve know that I bear no grudges against her. And to you, Nelson. I am no longer angry with you. Okay. This, this union was never meant to be. Okay, Chogo. You have spoken as the true son of your father. Thank you so much, okay. And I also want to apologize to you. It was never my intentions to hurt you. I am deeply sorry. The gods are wise. Let no mortal think otherwise.
Hold off, Roger. How are you? Now you are fully cleansed. The chains around your neck broken. Once again, you can breathe again. And your life is fully restored. 